Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the channel in Auto Addiction. Today we're going to be working on the F-250 a little bit. Show you guys how to modify some easy stuff to get a little more power out of the 460. A little more airflow. I shouldn't say it's going to be a huge difference, but it should make a little bit of difference in your 460 7.5 liter. Stay tuned. We're going to get right to started a little bit um, make the video a little bit easier uh, basically we're gonna take the air box off yeah you can see my filter was pretty dirty so pull the air box off just four screws show you guys I mean I'm sure you guys know how to take your air box off by now but uh, take the air box off take these hoses loose <clears throat> and then back behind these hoses you can read a lot of forums uh, they talk about removing the baffles from the horns in your intake and you're like what the heck is that so if you pull these tubes off you know it's just hose clamps that hold them on uh, pull your intake box off first and then loosen there's two clamps here so that way you can pull your tubes off and then i'm going to loosen these clamps and pull this off so you can see you got these huge horn looking things that kind of restrict the airflow as it's coming through the intake <clears throat> why the ford engineers design it like that i'm not really sure um, I'm not sure what the cause is behind it, but it does seem like it would restrict a lot of airflow that's coming through there, uh, especially being that the 460 sucks a ton of air. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this off, and then I'm going to trim these off, and then put it back together. So I don't know why they just have the baffles there, but <clears throat> if you guys know the reason, uh, please comment below. So this isn't going to be a real long video. Basically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take those off and I'm just going to put it back together. And then for my intake, I'm going to fix this. Somehow it fell down out of the air box. So I've been sucking all the hot air. So put that back in there. And then the front and the grill area. I don't know if you guys can see it down in there. But what I did was, it's right there do is I, tr I trimmed it out so this way it gets full air some guys take it out but then I think that you just kind of suck it from the air box suck a bunch of hot air in so I'm just gonna leave it in there all right guys so we're gonna leave that in there I'm gonna get this cut off put it all back together but I just want to do a quick video on uh, removing those horns from the 460 intake and um, I'll do another video it's starting to get kind of dark but I'll do another video once I get the bank system uh, it comes with a new air filter a different air box top and then I uh, will put it back together so I'll continue this video I'll pick up that stuff tomorrow um, from the shop and then uh, I'll finish out this video with that cut off and putting it back together uh, but I still want to get a head start on it, so. So yeah, you guys stay tuned and uh, I'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. It's the next day. Well, a couple days later. But uh, sorry it's been uh, late when I got home from work, but I got that baffle thing cut off. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Alright, so instead of having those big horns on there, see I trimmed it off and then I sanded them. So that way it looks good. And then we're going to put it back together, try to clean up the tubing a little bit, and then uh, let's go over to the truck, I'll show you what we got going on. Alright guys, so we're going to start putting it back together. 
Here's the new Banks airbox top. So, fit on there. One thing I'm kind of disappointed about is Banks didn't realize this sat on the driver's side, I guess. So when you mount it, the bank system, bank ram air, it's gonna be upside down. So their uh, quality control guys missed that. But uh, <laughs> other than that, it should be pretty good. So let's start putting this thing back together and then uh, we'll crank it up and get it started. All right guys, so getting this thing back together, the banks, they give you the k cleaner, and then they give you the k filter. So, slot the filter in. This is the old air box. So the new banks one has a channel inside the inside that I guess it helps flow the direction of air. And it's a little bit bigger in the front of it, right here. So, we'll see how it works out. So we're gonna get to installing the rest of it and then uh, show you guys what it looks like. Um, the only thing I'd say, two things on this air top box. It fits real snug up against the body right here. Um, it's kind of crazy. Just the plastic mold is super tight. It's like right up against the body. So what I ended up doing is put this on first. Just trying to work it in there with the hoses. It's kind of a pain in the butt. So. I'd probably recommend putting this on first and then working your hoses. And I did have to trim a little bit of the rubber on these hoses because when you went to put it when I went to put it back together, it's like this air box is a little bit longer so it doesn't seat right. So then your hoses were like right up against here, so they wouldn't even seat all the way and then they had a kink in them. So we'll go ahead and get this thing fired up and uh not going to be able to tell a huge difference, but we'll fire it up and see what happens. the video the install the intake and uh, how to remove those little uh, trumpet looking things in the intake on the 7.5 liter please hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel sorry the video is so short but I hope you enjoy I just want to do a video try to document as much stuff as I can for y'all so uh, I can't film out there because it's super windy so I'm in the garage kind of pointing the camera out there so you guys still see the truck but if you got any questions on the system comment below you can go on Banks' website, check it out there. And I uh, appreciate all the support. Thanks for all the subscribers. We're almost to 2,000. I think we're at almost 1,700. So moving up quick. And uh, more videos that come on this thing. Either that or it may go up for sale. I'm not sure. So <laughs> we'll find out. But uh, one or the other. But I uh, appreciate it, guys. See you guys on the next ride.